To prepare for the ACFT, you're going to have to start training anaerobic endurance, strength and power, um, as well as speed and agility. So we want to talk about the, the six fundamental movements um, that soldiers are going to need to learn to prepare for the ACFT. They are the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, the overhead press, and the pull up, as well as a rotational core exercise. Every soldier uh, across the force uh, has physical demands placed on them. And, and we have got too many muscular skeletal injuries in the force uh, with 10% of our force that can't do their job. And so we have got to have a change in culture that better prepares soldiers for the demands of soldiering. The ACFT measures all 10 components of fitness whereas the APFT only measures two, muscular endurance and aerobic endurance. Training all 10 components of fitness helps reduce injuries. Personally, some of the events are very challenging for me. And I am not going to run out and start trying these exercises without training for them. With each new exercise routine comes a greater risk of injury. One of our biggest fears is that soldiers, especially those who haven't foundationally trained, uh, will immediately go out and start pushing sleds or hucking a 10-pound ball without any prior preparation. We will train physical fitness over a longer period, more sustained period of time, which will improve our fitness levels, allow a higher percentage of soldiers to pass the new ACFT, which will result in our ability to better perform our combat mission.